few men picked early on to receive motion picture camera training. This was all brand spanking new. Nobody had ever done this before in the American military, and we were making it up as we went along. Until now, 35 millimeter black and white was standard issue. But the camera and its gear are bulky and heavy. So Hatch proposes to purchase a more combat friendly camera. I convinced the warrant officer and the supply officer that it'd be a good idea if we picked up some 16 millimeter cameras. It's a suggestion that would revolutionize combat photography. The minute we saw this, there was no question in our minds that this is what, what the guys ought to have. This is the 16 millimeter Bell & Howell Autoload Silent Motion Picture Camera. It weighs less than three pounds. And Norm discovered that it uses easy to load 50 foot film cassettes. Color film cassettes. In the 1940s, that is a big deal. The camera was almost indestructible, and uh, it didn't seem to get bothered by too much dirt or sand or, or anything along that line. Norm would snap up all these cameras he could find. The lightweight camera would be what Bill Janoust would eventually take into combat. The war that was unfolding would be one of the most filmed conflicts ever. I like to think it's fitting because it's really the monumental event in human history. And the Marine Corps, more than any other part of the service, understands the power of imagery to hone and shape public attitudes toward the war. It was an era of mass media, electronic media with radio and, of course, with moving pictures in the theater, which all leads to this ability to document this huge event that spans every corner of the globe.